please enjoy looking at this blank screen while I talk. So, welcome to Cooking with Sarah and tonight we are going to be cooking a red Thai curry. Um, viewer discretion is advised. There are scenes of raw chicken slash cutting up raw chicken, but only for a short period of time in case you are sensitive to such scenes. Thank you very much and let's go. Here I am just showing you the ingredients that will be used tonight, which is um, sliced mushrooms, you've got your little baby cobs, uh, some coconut milk, a pepper, uh, a courgette from my mother's garden, very nice, chicken, look away now if you're sensitive, carrots and runner beans or whatever they are. Oh, and some Thai curry paste. That flashed up quickly. Okay, here I am mutilating a couple of chicken breasts. I use a knife and fork because I do not like to touch a raw breast. Here we are, putting some oil in the pan first of all. This is actually a wok, okay? That is a wok, right? So just heating up that oil. Then we're going to put the breasts in there. Oh, look at that. Did you see that slide through the hole of the chopping board? Hilarious. I'm just scooping out a bit that I don't think looks too pleasant. I'm just going to spread them all out evenly in the wok. Okay, so just let that go for a little bit. I just realised I haven't actually put the um, things together. Can you hear my mouse? Yeah, that's because I'm currently actually editing the video as I'm talking because Sarah incompleted it. Does that make sense? That doesn't. So now we're chopping up a carrot. Very nice. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Of the carrot, carrot, carrot. Okay. Yep. Slice, slice. Chop, 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 chopping. Ah, oh, did anyone ever see those Le Pack adverts? They absolutely made me drool. They made me so hungry, you know. My jaw is clicking as I'm talking, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Really do much about it, so just putting that in the wok as well. Um, mushy, 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 putting that in there, lovely. Then we're just going to carb the beans, these are from my boyfriend's father's garden, so locally sourced ingredients. Uh, well, <laughs> two things are chopping them in small pieces because they are quite hard, and I would like them to be cooked before I eat them. Um, so yeah, just gather them together. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know. Just put them in the wok, just like so. Okay, lovely. Now to the pepper. Now I understand I cut peppers like not quite a normal person perhaps, but um, yeah. Oh, just look at that lovely pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so just gonna basically cut that out of there. Um, as you can see I make it look really easy. Okay, just yep, pull that out and of course a hundred seeds were left inside because do you know what, when I cut up a pepper actually I do alternate my pepper styles. You know, I, I tend to um, either just complete, you know, cut it in half then rip the guts out or I do what I just did well, sometimes I do something completely different that I don't actually remember off the top of my head. Not really important. Um, what else can I talk about while I slice this pepper? It's uh, cold weather we're having now, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Right, just, uh, so, I mean, you could leave them that length, you know, it's completely up to you, but I just like to cut them again in half because you know they're a bit too large. Oh, did 
I seriously leave all of this in? Sorry, I just messed up in the edit and I'm gonna totally leave that in because it made me laugh. <laughs> okay, um, I don't even know if the sound is matching up as I'm editing this to be honest with you, but I mean, we'll just see how it turns out. Okay, so getting the Thai curry paste and just sticking it in there with the ingredients. I haven't yet put in the peppers, as you can see. Just sticking in that paste to get that going. On the instructions it says use a quarter of a jar, but I mean that was probably more than a quarter. So just gonna adjust myself in my chair, so just Okay. Just in case you think I farted or something. I know what you guys are like. Terrible. Okay. Now I'm going to use some coconut milk. Just opening that with a can opener with um, amazing skills. It looks really weird, doesn't it? Coconut milk. It's like, you know, it's really um, solid cream almost, and then it just bleh, like that, just like that. And get all the residue out there as well. Okay, lovely, beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. Okay, just mix that up in there. Lovely. Okay, now I'm going to add the already sliced mushrooms. They're actually very similar in price to normal mushrooms, if not cheaper sometimes, depending on what's on offer. You know, you've just got to look at these things. I always think, nope, don't want to buy sliced mushrooms, onions or anything. It's lazy, but do you know what? Sometimes the price is right. Just stir them in there as well. Lovely jubbly. Yep, oh, splash it on yourself as well, that's always a good look. Okay, get your little... Now, okay. After eating this meal, um, I personally, for some reason, didn't like the way the corn on the cobs, or the corn cobs, whatever they are, tasted with it. I don't know why I normally kind of like them, but maybe not in this particular meal, you know? Just putting that out there. Okay, so anyway, moving on to the mange too. I just stick that in there as it is. As you can see as well, I'm not actually washing anything, which is quite disgusting. But, you know, um, I don't really understand what water does anyway. I get that it gets the dirt off, but it's not going to get all those chemicals off, is it, really? You know, just thinking. Right, now the peppers are going in because they are the mushiest of the veg, so they will um, cook quicker. This is an onion, everyone. Hi. Um, so the onion's actually going to go in last. Okay, I lied. This is an onion grown from um, a garden as well. Uh, and it's very small and quite cute. And actually, it's very handy having onions that are small because you don't always want a big ass onion in there, do you? And then you've got to wrap it up in cling film, keep it in the fridge, and you've got to use it, otherwise you forget it's there, and then it goes mouldy. And it's like, what is actually the point? Okay? Just chopping that up. Don't chop your fingers off, honey. Okay? I'm kind of slicing it like that, because then I will separate them afterwards. Do you ever cringe at watching someone cut stuff up? I'm cringing right now, even though I know. That I didn't cut myself. So anyway, we're just separating the onion layers. Onions have layers, so just separate them so they're not all in, you know, humongous lumps when you're cooking them. All right. So just um, oh, she's just going in with the with the uh, cause yeah, I was going to say zucchini, then I remembered where I was from. So yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, we're using courgette from my mum's garden. The onion made me cry a little bit, and I wanted to show you so you could feel sorry for me. Right, so, yep, just stick that in there. 
this obviously takes barely any time at all to cook because it's mushy anyway. Um, I think this one I cut into more smaller pieces because it is quite a large courgette. 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 Okay, I'm just scrapey, scrapey that in. Lovely, beautiful. This is a very healthy curry. I don't know if you noticed, but there is definitely your five a day in there probably. If these veg count, I don't really know. Okay, so let me just let that cook. Let it simmer for a little while. I could add a bit of salt. Coarse sea salt, of course. <laughs> so yeah, just like that. A bit of flavouring. And also I forgot to mention fish sauce. Fish sauce actually lasts ages. We opened this months ago and it's still good to go because there's just a use by date on it and not actually a once open to consume within blah blah blah, you know? I hate that so much. Oh god. What a drag. It's been simmering, boiling for a little while. I'm actually um, going through some out-of-date M&Ms at the moment. Uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just, you know, out-of-date. They don't taste great. It's chocolate. Come on. Anyway, so um, we have one of these cool little um, devices. Microwave rice cooker. Oh, okay. Scene change. So, yeah, basically you stick your rice in. You stick some water in. And, oh, <laughs> that was my phone, not yours. And you put it in the microwave for, well... I'm going to do it for 12 minutes because I put in one and a bit cups, this size cup, not normal cup. So just do that. Um, what am I doing? I'm going to get some rice in a second. Yep, here we go. Easy cook long grain rice. I always thought to myself, well, long grain rice, what is short grain rice then? I'll tell you what it is, isn't it? It's rice pudding. That's what it is. So, yeah. Crazy, isn't it? That is right, isn't it? That is the only difference. Is it? Ooh, maybe I'm wrong. <gasps> Doubt it. <laughs> yeah, I put in, like, not quite one and a half, but yeah. And then you pour your water in. Lovely. Two cups of those. And stir it a little bit. Pop your lid on. Pop your other lid on. Do it up. And that's going to go in the microwave for, what did I say, 12 minutes? As you can see, I'm setting the microwave before I've actually put the product in the microwave. And as you can also see, this microwave is a little bastard. I can hardly open the door very easily. And trying to press, look at that, just look. <laughs> it's not very good, you know, it's cheap. So while that's cooking, um, I decided it would be so much fun to film myself getting my washing in. Hmm. I did. Um. There I am with my pigtails and just <laughs> getting the pole down there. Um. So, yep. Just getting in that washing, you know. I don't know why. I don't really know why I decided to do this. So maybe just take a moment to ponder um, what is truly important in the world. And, uh, oh, look at that. Not, just change, just suddenly check. Oh, I forgot my pair of shorts. That's funny I say that because I don't actually know where I put them. I wanted to wear them the other day and I've no idea where I put them. How strange. Anyway, coming back inside and serving up the food. Here we go. It's done. Serving it up. 
it's not a very red curry, you know, it's, it's more, um, poo colour perhaps you could say, or maybe just sort of like a, a yellowy orange really, isn't it, more so than anything, get you a voice in there, presentation is key as you can see, <laughs> splashes of it all up the sides, lovely, let's get a close up shot of that please, thank you, look at that, gorgeous, absolutely delish, goodbye, thanks for watching, okay lovely, bye, oh, just waving. <laughs>